Have you been wanting to create a landscape environment lately, either to use it in a video game or to make a scene out of it? You might have been stuck or overwhelmed by the process because it is very hard and takes a lot of time. So there are numerous add-ons that can help you with this process and there is even a free one that is integrated into Blender and called the ANT Landscape add-on or Ant Landscape. But there is also a new add-on called Quick Landscape, which includes a large library of over a hundred landscapes presets divided into 25 categories, with each having four variants. All the presets are well designed to allow you to have a high level of detail and realism, and all they come in 4K quality PBR textures, which are compatible with both Cycles and Eevee. And this is really great, because it covers both engines. The end works as a generator where you can choose between the presets, generate the landscape, and then customize it as much as you want using a variety of tools. So you can change the hue, saturation, color intensity, and some other preferences. And when it comes to optimizing performance, the add-on allows you to choose the mesh quality between low, medium, and high so that you can work comfortably in the preview while having a high quality in the render view which is the most important thing. And as I said earlier, Quick Landscape comes with a bunch of features that allow you to take your landscapes to the next level. For example, you can quickly add realistic fog to either the surface of the landscape or to the entire world. And you can precisely control some attributes such as texture, scale, density, and more. Additionally, the add-on allows you to create an anti-tile expendable landscape system, meaning that you can have an endless landscape and you can also add generated real-time ocean foam on islands and cliffs, which is really cool. In a nutshell, the Quick Landscape add-on works really well and allows you to create high-quality landscapes. And it has a great performance that can handle mega landscapes, especially for big projects. And what's good about it is that it is powered by geometry nodes, which allows you to control a lot of things about your landscapes. So if you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with Blender news and the CG industry in general. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.